So it takes a lot of unsung heroes, a lot of adults uh, to make our mission team happen uh, from coordinating the work that George does to organizing the whole, uh, the whole experience which Chris takes on to uh, feeding us and all of the other things in between. Uh, one of the most unsung heroes who uh, drives to Manassas to rent the U-Haul, stores all of his equipment uh, for the entire year, loads the U-Haul, drives the U-Haul, uh, works with each one of the teams to make sure that they have the tools and the skill set they need, uh, and oversees the project, and usually ends up uh, about as dirty on the work site as anybody there. Uh, Ryan Wilbert is, is absolutely indispensable and a huge part of it, uh, so I will let you begin. Thank you very much. Uh, we had another successful year down in Hollywood, South Carolina. We ended up working on one site with two houses. Uh, front house was uh, mother and back house was uh, daughter or reverse. Don't remember, I'm still a little tired. <laughs> um, but we ended up, uh, sorry about the microphone, thank you. We ended up working on both their roofs. They were leaking badly. Um, uh, Bill O'Leary for the first time came on a trip, uh, our main contractor this year and uh, put in a lot of effort to figure out how to fix a roof that was sunken in. Uh, they pretty much had to rip it off and uh, retie it. Um, by the second day, I think it was a Tuesday, we had a nasty uh, rainstorm, unfortunately. Two, well, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> they ended up tarping it, um, but it wasn't enough. And then when we did get the Wednesday morning, uh, torrential rains, uh, the water got into the house, caused a short, um, which was actually a, a fortunate incident because we weren't doing electricity. We don't do that when we're down there. And someone had put in a screw through a electrical conduit and sparked and caused a mini uh, little burn. So they were able to find that and uh, remove it. Um, but the kids, we have four kids, Tanner, Kate, Evie and Luke are going to tell a lot more about it. They're really excited. Um, and also, this is my first time of having my daughter uh, on the trip. After uh, working uh, with the church and the teams for seven years. So, really proud. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Tanner Working and I graduated from Fauquier this past year and this was my fourth mission trip. I um, actually wrote this paper a few months ago and um, it really, I read back on it and it reflects on exactly what the mission trip means to me and how it makes me feel. I give myself away, I give myself away to you, O Lord, sang Vernon all alone, but he wasn't singing alone for long. After only one verse, more voices started to join him. First, the mission alumni, and then not far behind, came the less experienced, including myself. At first I was shy and not sure I wanted to sing along, especially since this was my first seafood jamboree, and I was not very confident in my singing abilities. But I soon realized that I was not going to be judged, so I joined in. The sound of everyone singing along with Vernon was so powerful and touching that it gave me goosebumps. Everyone was smiling and having a great time, especially the residents who we were there to help. Seeing those people who I knew were living in extreme poverty, smiling, dancing, and singing passionately and joyfully made me realize why I was there, so that I could make a difference in their lives and they could change mine. That moment was when I decided I would be coming back on the mission trip for years to come. The mission trip has played a large role in my life thanks to the wonderful youth group at St. James Episcopal Church. The youth group has strengthened my relationships with others, and I have learned about the importance of teamwork. My leadership skills have grown immensely, and working with others has increased my confidence. We go on many trips and do lots of community service work around our hometown, but the one trip that really changes lives and that I love is the mission trip to Hollywood, South Carolina. We go down for a week every summer to do maintenance on houses, build new homes, and help improve the lives of homeowners. When I arrived on my first trip, I couldn't believe the living conditions of the people there. Houses, houses were missing ro windows, roofs, and siding. The majority of the wood on the houses was rotting away, and some looked like they may even collapse. 
it made me realize how fortunate I am. The mission trip is the major highlight of my year and has changed my life in many ways. The people who live there are extremely friendly and so full of love, hope, and faith, despite their living conditions. I've been on the trip now for four years, and every year when we show up to the house, the homeowner is, o is overjoyed to see us. Last summer, when we pulled into Miss Clara's, she was there waiting to greet us with hugs. She quickly gathered us together and started to pray. I've been up, I've been down, and been so low I could touch the ground, but that doesn't stop me. Nothing makes me happier than knowing how much these people appreciate the work we do. It is an amazing feeling to bring joy to someone else's life who is not as fortunate as you. And that is why I am passionate about helping others. At one point, a young girl living in the house challenged me to a dance off. I typically don't dance in front of people, but I couldn't let her down. And I knew that I was in an environment where I wouldn't be judged. Youth group has taught me to be true to myself first and everything else falls into place. Mission trips have brought me closer to friends, helped me meet new people, and taught me many helpful construction skills. But most importantly, I have learned to be thankful for what I have. I've learned what serving others means to me. It truly has brought me joy and taught me how to give thanks and live a more fulfilling life. And one last thing, remember that life is short. We have too little time to gladden the hearts of those who travel the way with us. So be quick to be kind and make haste to love. Thank you. Hello, everybody, and good morning. Like Chris would say, good morning, sunshines at 6 o'clock in the morning every day. Um, my name is Kate Wilbert. I'm going to be a sophomore at Fauquier High School, and this was my first missions trip. Before I begin talking about my journey in particular, I want to say to be given this opportunity was a blessing from God. First of all, I have to say that I didn't know what I signed up for. I had heard about the trip from friends and family, especially my dad, who was very passionate about the trip, but I never experienced it myself. I was definitely not expecting the pure joy and thankfulness I gained while in Hollywood, South Carolina. When we got to the church we were staying at, I was pleasantly surprised. The church was beautiful. The first full day we spent in Charleston was a very nice city, about an hour away from where we were staying. We got to walk around and explore shops and restaurants with our friends. At this point, I still didn't know what I was in for. I was having so much fun already and we hadn't even started the best part. Monday was our first work day, and I didn't know how I would do or what I would be working on. Turns out my team was on the roof, which was a lot of hard work, but super rewarding to see the process. The roof was in really bad shape, but with the help of our group leader, Father Connor, the pastor at St. Paul's, we were motivated to stay on task and work quickly. Every night when we got back from the work site, we would have formation. We would hear about baptismal vows and then break into small group to talk about what we had learned and how we felt. That really helped everyone bond and learn more about each other. Throughout the whole week, everyone worked hard with no complaints, except Wednesday because of the weather. Even though everyone was bummed because of the weather, we managed to work even harder and finish every project we started. God really provided strength for every worker and pushed them to their potential each day. On the last day, I met the residents for the first time at dinner. A couple of friends and I decided to eat with them out of excitement to get to know them. We hadn't met the residents or heard their stories because they were running a daycare. So this was a big opportunity for us to know whose lives we were impacting. The two women were very hard workers who got through every day based on hope provided to them by their community and their faith. Even though their lives are not the easiest, they thank God every day and every small blessing they receive, such as our church coming down to help them get through everyday life. Father Ben told us everyone should at one point in their lives look at their house and see a mansion. Not a literal mansion, but a beautiful home they are proud to live in that provides for their daily needs. Being able to make that possible for someone is the best feeling ever. These people have really touched my soul and helped me find the best in every person. Most of all, I have never been more proud to be involved in a group of people. Every day we live by the words, 
Remember that life is short, and we have too little time to gladden the hearts of those who travel away with us. So be quick to be kind and make haste to love. And those words will change my view on how I perceive people forever. So thank you to everyone who makes this trip possible year after year. I am blessed to be part of such an amazing community. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Evie Leary, and I will be a senior at Fauquier High School. Last week, I went to Hollywood, South Carolina for a yearly missions trip. This is my third year attending, and I can honestly say that each year the trip just gets better. One thing I love the most is how close I get with everyone on the trip, and I also love seeing the impact we make on the Hollywood community. For the past week, we worked on two houses with many projects, but the biggest ones were redoing part of a roof on one and repairing on another. It was so amazing to see how God worked through us and used us to share his message through construction. However, this year was different from the others. One of our five work days was rained out. This put our work to a halt and made us question if we would be able to finish our work in time. As a, gr as a group, we worked together, and through the lost day, we made up for it by working extra hard. With each and every one of us working hard, we finished all projects on time. Throughout the week, I definitely saw a change within the group, and we all became closer not just to each other, but with God. Thanks to this trip, I have made many lifelong friends, and I can't wait to see what God has planned for us next year. I am looking forward to going back to Hollywood next year. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Luke Warfield, and this is my second uh, mission trip to Hollywood, South Carolina, St. James. First off, I have to extend a huge thank you to all of the adults that took time out of their summer to come work and sweat with us in South Carolina. Without their help, we couldn't possibly have completed everything that we did this past week. So please, a big round of applause for all of them. My first mission trip with St. James was last year, and I only went after much insistence from many people. I thought, who would want to take a whole week of their summer to go labor in the blistering heat of South Carolina? <laughs> However, as soon as I arrived at the first work site, I knew that it was so much more than just that. When I first met one of the residents that we were working with, I saw how this little commitment of mine was working to truly change her life for the better. The front of her house was mostly falling apart or rotted, and the inside was not much better. But in just five days, our group, with the help of some of the locals, was able to completely fix the front of the house and rebuild several of the rooms inside. The look of happiness on the residents' face has not been matched by anything else I've ever seen. This trip was more amazing, even more amazing than last year. In the short amount of time that we were there, we were able to completely reconstruct the roof of two houses, build a new set of stairs, repair and expand a deck, and drywall two rooms. The resident who lived in the house and needed the most work was running a nursery for the kids in the community. She had all of the things for those kids that any of us had when we were little. Seeing someone providing that kind of care and attention to the kids in this community was special and it motivated many of us to work as hard as we could. Unfortunately, on our third day, several large rainstorms kept us away from the job site all day. However, despite the sizable setback, we were still able to complete all of our tasks. The roof crews worked much faster than anticipated and were able to finish a job expected to take two days in just one. All of the extra work was worth it to see the residents so happy that their house was fixed and they could safely continue to take care of the kids in the community. Once again, thank you to everyone at St. James for your support of this project in prayer, word, and deed. We would have never been able to do so much good for this community over the years without you. I'm very thankful to have been able to go on this trip for two years and I look forward to returning for, for many more. I know this is an Episcopal church, and we've already had more applause than we have uh, in most church services, but I want everybody who was part of the mission team uh, who went down to South Carolina to please stand up. And let's give them one more round of applause. 